In the first three parts of our training film series, we discuss the basic training of young horses in detail. We will now follow three of the stars in their further development. Dresden Mann, Flipper and Dante have matured another year and are well on the way to advanced class S. Even if a specialization gradually comes to the fore, it goes without saying that it is essential for the training to be very varied. This includes cavaletti work, grid work, lunging, dressage exercises when riding out, relaxing hacks and daily turnout. The preparation needs to be really good for the change to succeed. Now the short diagonal and the flying change when crossing the center line. And you can see the change came late. During the learning phase I need to give the aids more clearly. Then later on I can gradually make them more invisible. The concept of cadence comes more and more to the fore in this work. By cadence, we mean that the suspension phase of the movement should be marked a little more clearly. Work on the double lunge shouldn't be an end in itself. It should be used only as part of a varied training program to improve suppleness and achieve more harmonious cooperation. I now know that I have to support him more with my aids, which means collecting him but keeping him sufficiently active. I turn. I sit more deeply and continue in the canter on the left leg. Exercises with the most collection are only required in competitions at the very highest level. Developing these exercises with half steps clearly contributes to the build-up of muscles so that carrying power and elasticity are increased. You went into that quite correctly. Now change the bend, shift your seat to the right, your left hand very slightly forwards, yes, but keep the contact on the left. He's jumping a bit more smoothly to the right than to the left. You can get him to do better on the left. He's steady in his rhythm. In order for training to be successful, it's important for the trainer to realize immediately when the horse starts to lose concentration and its strength diminishes. Daily training sessions should stop before this point is reached and while the horse is still happy to cooperate. As the saying goes, the journey is its own reward. Not everyone has to be a world champion. A reasonable amount of consistency in your work, self-discipline and patience are required to train a horse. But if you follow the basic principles of classical riding and happily enjoy daily training with your horse, then a lot can be achieved.